Hey guys, it's Dana and it's Tuesday, so it's time to talk about money. And today, <clears throat> excuse me. And today I wanted to share with you the top 10 secrets to getting out of debt. All right, so if it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money. We are a family of six living in the Philadelphia area, and I am a big Dave Ramsey fangirl. So if you haven't heard of him, then look him up. He has a lot, he has a whole plan called The Baby Steps of How to Get Out of Debt, and he does a daily radio show, three hours a day, and within each hour segment, somebody calls in and does their debt-free scream where they talk about their journey to getting out of debt, and almost every time he asks them what they feel is the key or the secret to getting out of debt. So that's three secrets every day if you listen to the radio show. And a lot of times they repeat themselves. Like I hear the same secret over and over again. And so I thought it'd be a fun video and hopefully helpful to you if you're trying to get out of debt to or encouraging to you if you're in the middle of the process, just what people say the secret is to getting out of debt. So number one, somebody called in on July 16th, hour two, and they were talking about how they felt that the secret to getting out of debt was to release your pride, to let go of that embarrassment that you might feel regarding your debt. And I really liked that one. It was one that I hadn't heard before. And I think it is so true and it really resonated with me because when we first started getting out of debt, I really had to take a look at everything we were spending money on and I had to call and cancel a lot of things that we c couldn't be paying for. And it was, it was a hit to my pride to have to cancel things that I really wanted, mostly things for the children, things for the kids that I had justified, things that I felt like, you know, we had to pay for for them, for the kids, they needed this, you know, and so, I, you know, activities or um, in our case, it was preschool. And I remember it was embarrassing for me to have to cancel in the middle of the program. And so I thought that was a really good a good one, good key or secret is to learn to let go of pride. And one thing this process of getting out of debt definitely does, it's a teacher, I think, to help us all to release ego. And I think that ego is a lot of times a big reason why we get into debt in the first place. All right, number two is one that over and over again people say, and it's the budget to budget. You have to have a budget, which basically is a plan. You know, I love plans. You have to have a plan and you need to stick to your budget. And they say, that's the key. So many couples, so many people say the budget, the budget, the budget was the secret to getting out of debt. And it's a monthly budget. Every month you create a new budget for the month at the beginning of the month where you assign every single dollar a job. Like where's every single, every single dollar coming in where is it gonna go? And that is really important to getting out of debt, is your budget. Third is also a really big one, communication. So many couples say communicating with each other, going over that budget that they did, even if it's just five minutes a month, you know, checking in weekly, checking in you know, anytime there's something outside that budget, talking to each other, communication is the key to getting out of debt. Use all cash is another one. Uh, people feel strongly about this, that when they're using cash, for example, we take out money every Friday, cash from the bank for our groceries. So it's a preset amount weekly, take out that money. And then when the cash is gone, then that's it. We don't spend any more. There's no more spending on food until the next week, till we get our get our next withdrawal of cash. And that helps so much to stick to your budget so you don't overspend. Celebrate the little wins. So part of the Dave Ramsey Baby Step program is to list all your debts, smallest to largest. And the reason why is because when you pay off the smallest debt, say you have a $200 medical bill, when you start paying off those little debts, you can start paying them off quickly usually, and it's really satisfying, really motivated to be able to, to cross them off to see progress. And then each time you have a little win, you pay off a debt, maybe your little win would be every time you hit an extra, you know, thousand or two thousand or five thousand, whatever. You know, when you reach a certain mark in your payoff, then you celebrate 
in a small way, not an expensive way, but even if it's, you know, anything you want to do, whether you have some kind of big, you know, elaborate thing in your house where you can color in things, maybe you go and get an ice cream or maybe you take a walk or, but celebrating the little wins just so that you don't get discouraged and that you stay motivated on the plan. And then this next one is great. It is that there is no secret. There's really no secret. It, there's no quick fix. It's just, it is following a plan and then working hard towards that to get out of debt and living below your means, obviously, right? So to get out of debt, you have to make it something that you are focused on, something that you are doing on purpose. <laughs> it's not just gonna happen. You're not just gonna suddenly get out of debt. So there really isn't a secret to getting out of debt. It's just your hard work, being diligent, persistent towards that goal. Which is brings me to the next one, having a realistic goal, having a goal. So if you have a set amount of debt, if you have, I don't know, say you have $200,000 worth of debt, and then you say, my goal is to pay this off in two months, but you make $50,000 a year. Well, it's just not realistic. It's not going to happen. And you're going to have failure because it's just not possible. So you want to make sure you are being realistic and that you are able to make that make each mini goal or whatever you have so that way you can, again, find success and stay motivated. Having a timeline is also a secret that I've heard people say, and then um, sticking to it. So again, just like with the goal, you have a timeline and uh, you can see that you're hitting each mark along uh, making progress. Number nine is to believe in yourself. Believing in yourself is so important. If you believe you can do it, then you will. If you don't believe it can happen, then maybe you need to find some small wins, some way to some small measure to have a win. That way you can believe that it's possible. So important to believe. And then the last one I heard someone say was to just do it, right? I think this is important to just get started. I think that is key. If you don't get started, you're, you are never gonna get out of debt. You have to get started on a plan and stick to it. If you don't stick to it, but if you don't start, then you're, it's never gonna happen. My mom always used to say or says, put your foot on the path. So whatever it is, just put your foot on the path and begin walking and eventually you're gonna get there. But if you never put your foot on the path, well, you're never gonna get there. So just do it, start. Okay, so those are the top 10 keys or secrets to getting out of debt that I have heard on the Dave Ramsey show, also that I agree with. And if you have a secret or key that you would love to share, I would be so grateful if you did. Leave it down below in the comments because it really does help others as they're watching this video. Sometimes people don't even make it to the end of the video. I know sometimes as a viewer, sometimes I click on videos and I just immediately go to the comments and start reading comments to see what people had to say about that topic. So when you leave a comment, it's not just for me, it's, it's for every everybody out there, you are helping others uh, in their journey and to get out of debt and being an encouragement, providing ideas. Um, so thank you so much for being here. Like I said, if it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money and I'll talk to you guys next week.